so a very very good morning to everyone so happy sunday so uh, like every sunday we used to conduct the meeting so we today we are having a very well known uh, indian social activist and uh, entrepreneur so let me introduce him his name is mr lenin raghuvanshi let me share his screen first so that hello so dr lenin raghuvanshi is an indian dalit right activist political thinker and social entrepreneur he is one of the founding members of people vigilance committee on human rights pbchr which works for the upliftment of marginalized sections of the society his work has been recognized with the like awards like gonju human rights award 2007 the acha star piece award 2008 the international human rights prize of the city of vemina 2010 a special mention prize of human rights of the french republic 2018 public peace prize 2018 and karamveer maharatna award 2019 he nominated for the nobel peace prize for his efforts to combat masculinity drive military traditions for his contributions to battering conditions for peace in world and for acting as a driving force in the force to prevent the use of masculinity driven military traditions as a weapon of war and conflict so for more information you can watch out his wikipedia page so that is dr lenin raghuvanshi on the wikipedia and today he will be discussing about a very uh, you know popular topic that is much needed in our country or if any part of the world that is effective format of package labeling to ensure children's right to nutrition so uh, welcome to ifbic board sir you are one among our patron and we are privileged to have you on board you can start your uh, topic sir so actually um, um, after the covid and due to sir we have act- lost your video again sir No, there is my video. I'm coming on there. I don't know what is my problem, but to, but in my laptop uh, there is a video. But we can't see your video. He needs to share. I think. Screen share screen. You can share your screen, sir. If there is anything. There. Now it is visible. Okay, uh, sorry for the. Uh, COVID infections and um, and when I came from the twelve days of the ICU, <clears throat> then I started to read about especially the nutrition therapies, which is very important in the post COVID pro- uh, recovery. and here i found that uh, because due to the many regions because the urbanizations and also the uh, stress on the families uh, uh, due to the earn the more money and and another hands we are changing our life styles for many regions and in this way uh, we use a lot of ultra processed foods packet food actually um, and um, <clears throat> if you look in india Uh, near about ten percent people in the urban and rural area, and and if you are going to focus on the ur- um, uh, urban area, it, it is going to thirty percent. Uh, we use the ultra uh, process uh, food, and um, <coughs> and um, children especially because they love kurkure and um, chocolates and other things, so they also use. Uh, um ultra processed food and especially twice a week um, 
in also in the uh, rural area and very most marginalized community like mushahars and the lurs um there so and then when i started to read about uh, uh, um uh, what is the problems then we received there is a non communicable disease there is a two disease one is the communicable disease communicable disease like a tuberculosis and covid and this but there is a non communicable disease and the uh, responsible factors for the non communicable disease is the uh, ultra processed foods uh, this is the packaged food and um, and if you are going to the um, <clears throat> global burdens um uh, of more than uh, more than six time of the death of the hiv is only happening uh, um, due to the you know, non communicable disease which is the diabetes one hand and uh, diabetes two especially and 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 then uh, cardiovascular disease and uh, and um um and, and uh, in the cardiovascular disease there is hypertension and all uh, 5.02 million deaths uh, are happened due to this uh, uh, this non communicable disease in in, uh, in in the world and what is happening in india if you look the um, uh, survey of the government of india and of ss5 uh, <clears throat> national family health survey Uh, by the ministry of the health um, then we found uh, in 2015 and 16 um, there is obesity in one person in every person in one person in every fourth person and after the china we are go- we are the second largest um, populations people with the obesity and also to the the world health organizations many government initiated the process for the uh, uh, front of package levy uh, because uh, it is also important to inform the consumers inform to the people Uh, because um, and in this way uh, people are aware about uh, uh, more sugar more fat and more salt because salt if you have more salt and you have the problem of the hypertension or the um, um, diseases related to the cardiovascular uh, and then um, you need to be use the um, uh, new need, need to be control your salt and in the same way for the diabetes you need to control your sugar and for the obesity you need to control your fat and in this way uh, information is so important and australia and the new zealand <clears throat> um created a star a star level of the um front of package labeling front of package labeling is not behind it, it, it is in the front but the star label in this um two years there is a research by this uh, uh, this government and they found that uh, star level is not working very well and then chile in the latin america in <clears throat> um introduced the warning level if there is a very clear warning there is a high sugar there is a high fat there is a high um, um uh, salt and that works very well and they control more than 50% of the non communicable disease um in, in in the chile and in in in, in this context uh, um, we also appeal to the government of india and ministry of uh, health um, to introduce the front of package labeling with the warning warning label And, uh, and there is also the threshold uh, recommended by the world health organization uh, <clears throat> we have the special threshold for the south east asia because uh, every geography and also many um, um, regions and uh, environments and the uh, body index 
um, have the very different thresholds. So Southeast Asia, uh, we have the very different thresholds. So uh, we also appeal to the government of India, please do that. In 2014, government of India established uh, a, a committee on that. Are going on, but this Yes, networking. The bandwidth is very low at your side. I think there are some network issues. Yes. Now network is okay. Yes, now. Uh, um, yes, it is. It is okay. Please, please, please yeah. go. Ahead. Yeah, yeah. So what happened uh, on the system? We organized a multi-stakeholders meeting. And the doctors, associate, associate professor came from the all in uh, AIMS. AIMS is the one of the pioneer institutes of our country, uh, not one, only our country, also in Asia. And they recommended uh, um, the warning level of the front of package learning. Also, we need to introduce this in, into the local languages because, and also in the sign, because people will understand very clear warming level and um, and then um, uh, industry also came and uh, industry also supported one section of industry not all one section of industry uh, supported the front of package labeling because uh, they are also looking the leapfroggings of their industry in this way um, in the global markets and also their concerns about the um, um the health of the children and especially in the health of the children um, um uh, they are looking um double burden because you look uh, when we went to the musar ghettos uh, and musar faced the malnutrition one hands but we are surprised to know that uh, their children also use the uh, ultra uh, this packet food uh, and uh, minimum um, twice a week, and uh, and uh, <clears throat> but uh, there is also patterns every day. They they will use because mother are also walking, and so they they will use the kurkure and other things uh, every day. And in this way, one hand they are malnourished, and another hand they are eating the packaged food. Um, 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 where is the more salts, more sugars, more fats? Uh, it, in this way, they are creating a double burden. And uh, and you know, one hand we have the highest malnutrition, another hand we have the highest obesity. And uh, and in this way, um, <clears throat> we are so much concerned about the uh, future of our children. And in this way, government is also very much. Uh, um, 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 concern and they are going to bring these policies. Uh, but there is a few conflicts because the FSSI, which is the body created by the government of India under the Ministry of Health, FSSI and the IIM organize a study, uh, but nobody is aware also the, the section of the industry who participated in the uh, war, uh, uh, consultation on the system. April, they are not aware about that. And um, the of the model of the New Zealand, the Australia, which is already failed uh, by their research. And um, and um, and also they want to the voluntary for four years, which is not a big problem. We want to voluntary two to three years because uh, we need to be uh, um, reform our industry very differently and they also need to the government of India and the <laughs> different stakeholders to reform the industry differently. Uh, but uh, uh, the all in the aims and the other bodies, uh, they talk about the uh, warning level on the front of package labeling, but uh, uh, there is a research here. So 
Uh, we also uh, start a online petitions and also we file petitions to National Human Rights Commission and also with the Prime Minister of our country and the Prime Minister intervene into this case. And, um, and he is himself involved into to monitor what is happening on that. So that is the conference uh, here and especially for the small scale industry and others, because when the front of package labeling is going to happen, uh, this is also important. Uh, um, um, uh, <clears throat> uh, we will bring uh, in new factors. One hands to support our health system in our country, uh, and another hands also the leaf froggings and make a branding of our industry um, as a champion in the global scale uh, on the global level. So uh, this is the whole ideas, and this is the whole my thought process. And you look. Uh, it is important uh, to bring the front of package labeling. We don't want to disgrace the um, uh, packet food. We need, uh, it is a part of our life. It is a part of our reality. Uh, but uh, we need to be in, in, in form choice and also more research and um, in, into that to create more healthy food. And, uh, and which, is, which is possible. And in this way, front of package labeling uh, with the warning level is very, very important on the base of the thresholds given for the uh, micronutrients by the World Health Organization. So, uh, which is very, very important because the children is our um, citizens and children are also our futures. And we need to be a more healthy human resource in this country, uh, which, is, uh, <clears throat> which, is our, uh, which is our strength. Uh, in the world. So in this way, uh, thanks to the embrace and all to bringing this issue, especially amongst the different entrepreneurs and um, uh, business leaders uh, to understand and to bring um, uh, <clears throat> this understanding. Uh, we are also big actors and the factors to curb down the non-communicable disease. Um, because recently, if you look, 28.1% um, 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 of all deaths in India is due to the cardiovascular disease in 2016. It is only for the cardiovascular disease. If you are going for the diabetes, if you are going for the other non-complicable disease, it is more. So that, that creates a big problem because this non-complicable non disease also decrease your, your immune and when you are going to face with the COVID and other complicable disease, uh, you have the double burden and you have the more risk for your life. So that is my thought process. Then if there is any question answer, we will uh, talk about that. So, 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 sir, please. Your voice is not coming. Emma? Yeah. Wait one minute. Give me one. Okay. Yes, Am I audible now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So as we have seen, especially in India, what happens, not only in India, I can say the most of the develop, uh, developing Asian countries that packing the foods in, uh, you know, any packets, there is indeed need a standard especially in the B towns and the C towns and in the villages of India, we used to say that, uh, you know, plastic, how plastic can be harmful to anyone. And we used to pack the food in those harmful plastics. And after packing the foods, when the foods are eaten, it, the plastics are thrown into the mark, uh, you know, any uh, place of our country. We used to throw in the ponds, we used to throw in the rivers, we used to throw into the uh, oceans. And what happens, you know, plastic is not renewable, it is not regardable. So it creates lots of uh, harm in the, uh, you know, society it creates harm to the so soil. So as we have the international faces with us, international people with us. So we'd like to know that uh, what type of solutions you have in your mind. And as we are working, uh, uh, we are looking for the contribution. Uh, we are looking for the mentorship. So how we can come out with this problem. And if you have any questions, you can uh, come out here. I want to comment on the non-communable disease that uh, that was spoken of. So um, right now, the biggest issue that you have in India is um, 
package of food that has no um, no written warnings as to the calorie intakes or um, how harmful it is, what it's made out of, if it's saturated in fat or salt or sugar. There's nothing like that that's labeling in India at the moment. No, we don't have the front of package labeling and warning. In, in America, we, in all our supermarkets, the foods that especially that's geared to young people, uh, children in grade school that have colors, which is very attractive to them to want to buy, they have a very uh, specific uh, clear cut rules as to what, how many teaspoons of sugar is in it, how, many, how much salt is in it, how much saturation of fat is in it if it's a um, trans fat or not. Uh, so those are the kind of things that we have in the US uh, in the last, let's say 20 years that is helping somewhat, but um, it is, I'd have to say the family's responsibility to make sure that the children are eating more fresh than packaged food because it looks really, really enticing. So Rauli ji was having a question. So Rauli ji, are you there? Am I audible? Yeah, yeah, you're audible. Uh, good morning to all and uh, thanks to Mr. Raghunshi for uh, presenting such an uh, interesting take on his industry. I, I relate to this uh, food industry because we deal with a lot of food laws as a law firm with the FSAI, which is the Min Food Authority of Korea. So uh, we do a lot of compliance issues and all. But what when she's saying about it is a very real problem, uh, which as a nation, the consumption has gone so high in India. Uh, there are a lot of loopholes which the industry tends to hide from the end consumers. And this issue about uh, labeling for children's uh, nutrition is a very interesting concept and which is applicable to all of us who are parents here and for our future generations also. We do work very closely with the industry uh, authorities and everything, and there is a huge gap. I'm sure Mr. Ravanshi also knows that. And hopefully it is uh, done well in the future. I would connect with Mr. Ravanshi offline, and I think it will be good to connect with him and take things forward in the future. We can also look him in as a, as a consultant for any of our future endeavors. Thank you. Yeah. That's uh, wonderful. So, any take on this, uh, Lenin, sir? It is very important, but I also inform uh, two important things uh, already happened in this country. Uh, especially this, when this prime minister came, he initiated this process of the front of package labeling in 2014. Uh, but in between, uh, we also brought two laws. Uh, we, and uh, one is for this trans fat, already we banned in this country. And the second in 2019, which came into the force in 2022, uh, 2020-2020, uh, there is uh, one law passed by the government of India and FSSI. Uh, there is no sale of any ultra-processed foods, 50 meter surrounding uh, of the um, uh, any go any schools and the college. So it is already uh, brought by the government of India. We need to be pushed to the uh, different state governments to implement that. And uh, yeah, and we are looking government of India because AIMS and others are supporting our process. And also the one of the big uh, union of the industry already supported on the 16, uh, 16 May, um, uh, this the whole concept of the warning label of the front of package label. So it is uh, it is going to happen. And uh, if this something is going to happen in India, every six person in the world is the Indian. So it is also going to put a lot of dynamics for the uh, Chinese market and other markets and other South Asians uh, food industry. Thank you. Thank you, Ambrezi. So any further question?
so it seems uh, we are uh, done with the question and thank you sir uh, thank you for presenting we have our uh, big announcement here so arya the asian real estate associations of america have already entered india and iapic is representing arya into india our senior vice president ms molly fakna is the brand ambassador of uh, that particular project so congratulations to iapic family we are making it big so from next uh, sunday we are expecting a real estate giants and other industries to represent you know industries in india and it will be a big opportunity for americans europeans and indians to connect on a particular platform with the technology with the investment opportunity with both the sides not only investing in india also you can have the investors from india to be invested in the united states and Lenin Raghuvanshi sir is a very big name in India. He has a very big connections, and he represents. You can say that uh, when you are into Wikipedia, especially from India, you have done a lots of work. So uh, I think last week uh, he went to Canada uh, for receiving a prestigious award. So sir, can you just uh, share that experience in two lines, and after that we will be finishing the meeting. It is the Global Pluralism Award established by Canadian government and Aga Khan. but the most important things also we received the uh, uh, <clears throat> honor from the senate of canada and it is the honor of the diversity and pluralism especially of my city banaras uh, where we we created cosmos very organic way of the diversity and pluralism after all contradictions and the uh, conflict so uh, that is the honor of that which we are promoting in uh, in this part of the world thank you and as uh, we are really thankful to molly bc has been you know very busy uh, uh, she don't sleep i guess so every time i used to message her she used to say i am working i am working so she have been very supporting she the senior vice president of uh, iapic and she is revisiting india on 3rd of uh, june to meet with the uh, government officials so it is a great opportunity for us to spread our wings so you all are welcome to india and everyone should visit the united states so it has been dream for everyone so with that note i would like to invite alok to conclude this meeting with keeping in mind that from next sunday we will have a friday session like today and we will be having new guest new speakers to join iapic thank you and do follow our linkedin page alok yes please welcome uh it's a very uh, you know sensitive uh, update what sir has given so people maximum they don't know uh, what is in salt in tech what is in sugar in tech uh, what happens when you know uh, it reaches to your liver and to your kidneys so you know it's it's actually for a baby is for a cyt or keto plan for a baby is where we indians do not follow right so what happens is that you know our body get used to with that and uh, without uh, you know higher percentage of sugar salt or or any kind of uh, you know junk i rather say okay body do not develop so they suffer from a you know malfunctioning where your tummy gets bloated and your whole body shrinks down to one you know to one span of time because i've been also working with nutritions i've been uh, you know training people so you know i always see people you know suffering <clears throat> in that way so it's like uh, uh if we are in a mature state of uh, you know uh, time so i guess 5 grams of sugar or 6 grams at the most and uh, at the 6 to 7 grams of salt is enough for our body to you know and to circulate for a day <clears throat> so this is a uh, a very uh, let's say very a uh, tough for a for a person to you know follow it so yes this was a short uh, you know information what i wanted to add on so thank you sir for your uh, valuable inputs and uh, thank you so much uh, everyone to to be present and i could see uh, you know a new faces and welcome everyone on let's say let's see on sunday as well the next sunday it will be a great thing happening with iibic as well so thank you and uh, have a blessed evening
and uh, bless Sunday. So thank you everyone. Thank you for joining. So next Sunday we will be meeting with our next speaker and we will have lots of fun, lots of knowledgeable uh, things will be shared and let's go for the best. So thank you. Thank you everyone.